Hello, and welcome to Tutoring Hour. In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about stem and leaf plots. Let's take a look at our first stem and leaf plot, displaying the time taken by 10 students to complete a test. First, let's understand the parts of a stem and leaf plot. A stem and leaf plot is a table of values. The first column of the table shows the stems. We have four stems, and they are one, two, three, and four. The second column consists of the leaves. The stem values are listed one below another in ascending order, and the leaf values are listed left to right in ascending order. 1, 5, 15 minutes is the key. The key tells us how to read a stem and leaf plot. We have one of the stem and five on the leaf, so we read it as 15 minutes. Then we have one and seven, and that's 17 minutes. Moving on to the next step, we have two as the stem, and 0, 2, 2, and 3 as the leaves, which are read as 20 minutes, 22 minutes, 22 minutes, and 23 minutes. Now that we are familiar with the parts, let's answer a few questions based on the stem and leaf plot. How many participants took less than 20 minutes to complete the test? We have 15 and 17, both less than 20. Two participants took less than 20 minutes to complete the test. What was the shortest time taken by a student to complete the test? 15 minutes. How many children took more than 35 minutes to complete the test? We have 38, 40, and 45. So there were three children who took more than 35 minutes to complete the test. How many participants took more than 20 but less than 40 minutes to complete the test? We have 22, 22, 23, 33, and 38. That makes it five participants. How many participants completed the test at the same time? Two. What was the longest time taken by a student to complete the test? 45 minutes. Let's raise the bar and try our hands at creating a stem and leaf plot using the temperatures of a place recorded from January to December. First, we need to arrange the data in ascending order and determine the highest and lowest temperatures. We have 39, 40, 43, 48, 53, 57, 57, 60, 68, 73, 76, and 80. The lowest temperature was 39 degrees Fahrenheit, and the highest temperature was 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The next step is for us to identify the stems. Based on the range of 39 to 80, we need six stems. We'll draw a vertical line and list the stems on the left side of the line. We'll now fill out the leaves. Let's take a look at our table. Our first data value is 39 degrees Fahrenheit. We have the stem 3, and we'll write 9 as our leaf. Our next value is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The stem is 4, and the leaf is 0. The third value is 43. We'll add another leaf, 3, to the stem 4. The next value is 48 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll add one more leaf, 8, to the stem 4. Our fifth value is 53 degrees Fahrenheit, so we'll add the leaf 3 to the stem 5. We'll quickly enter the rest of the data. Let's make our key now. We'll pick a value from the stem. Let's take 7. We'll choose a value for the leaf. Let's take 3. So this is our key. 7, 3, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So our stem and leaf plot looks something like this. Now that our stem and leaf plot is ready, let's try and answer a few questions based on this stem and leaf plot. What was the highest temperature recorded? 80 degrees Fahrenheit. What was the lowest temperature recorded? 39 degrees Fahrenheit. How many months recorded the same temperature? Two months recorded a temperature of 57 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the difference between the highest and lowest temperatures? The highest temperature was 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lowest was 39 degrees Fahrenheit. 80 minus 39 is 41. Therefore, the difference between the highest and lowest temperatures is 41 degrees Fahrenheit. How many months recorded a temperature below 50 degrees Fahrenheit? Four months. How many months recorded a temperature of more than 60 degrees Fahrenheit? Four months. How many months recorded a temperature between 50 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 degrees Fahrenheit? Seven months. That's a job well done. Time to wrap up. Visit www.tutoringhour.com if you need more practice. Smash the like and subscribe buttons right now. Thanks for watching.